Today we are going to explore alloys, mixatives, and pearls. I am going to get some smaller, oh, and I will be using, trying it out on some vellum as well, the pearls, because I really love that look. This is some graphics uh, craft paper. I believe it's craft plastic, I'm sorry. If you haven't seen that video, it will be linked at the end in a short playlist. So be sure to check that out as I share this amazing uh, paper that's cheaper than Yupo paper. All right, let's start off by doing a little bit of mixatives because I think that that's the most simple. So I have rose gold mixative and you really need to make sure that you're shaking it up because that ball is going to get all of those uh, like the mica in there or the um, yeah whatever's in there mixed up. All right so I'm going to lay a little bit of this down it's so pretty and what color should I use? We'll do a little bit of slate. And with the mixative, you can just use isopropyl alcohol. And then my heat tool. You know, the more prepared I am, the less prepared I am. <laughs> I felt like I was so prepared. All right, so this is my heat tool that I'm going to use. And I'm just going to move that around. And that is going to mix right in with that alcohol ink. So pretty, and I will hold it up in just a second. It may be a little bit hard to see. There we go. Very, very pretty. Okay. And now we're going to move on to some alloys, which I find that alloys is a good alternative to, uh, if you like the gold, like the gilding flakes on top. It's a good alternative. And I'm just going to place a little bit of the alloy. This is foundry. And let's do this purple. I don't know how well this is going to look. We'll find out. And a little bit of isopropyl alcohol. And the alloys sit on top of the ink. So like I said, it's good for an alternative for gilding flakes if you like that gold um, look on top. Hold it up for you. And you can see how it just sits right on top. It doesn't mix in like the mixative. So depending on the look that you want is what you want to want to get because this is the mixative and it mixes right in with that alcohol ink. Just makes it really uh, shimmery. And then this one kind of just sits on top. And also with the... Um, the mixative, I like to use it and do splatters with it to add like gold touches to my backgrounds and things. So that is those. And I am going to use the pearls. So one thing that I found with the pearls, and I will demonstrate it for you, 
is you cannot use isopropyl alcohol. And I think that's why in the beginning I was having such a hard time with the, with the pearls because they weren't working with the isopropyl alcohol. So I'm going to show you what I mean. So I'm gonna add a little bit of the pearls here. I think I have, I thought I had another one. Maybe I put it in here. No. Okay, we'll just work with one. All right, so I'm gonna put some isopropyl alcohol and you can see it doesn't do anything. <laughs> I love the alternative of using isopropyl alcohol, but as you can see, for some things, it just doesn't work. So for the pearls, isopropyl alcohol is not going to work. You need the blending solution. Let me show you. I'm going to pour a little bit here and then add some blending solution. And as you can see, it just spreads out beautifully. I probably added a little bit too much. Um, but it's beautiful. You guys can see that shimmer. Very, very beautiful. Ooh, nope, you can't see that. All right, my lighting is horrendous right now. I don't know why. I am going to be making a freebie on the differences, so um, be on the lookout for that as well. All right, so again, with the pearls, you need the uh, blending solution. You cannot use it with just regular isopropyl alcohol. And you can actually blend out, if you wanted to, a more concentrated color. You can use just the pearls on its own. You don't need to add anything. I'm gonna show you, so, although it doesn't move around too much, you can use these on the, on their own if you want a more concentrated, pearly, pearly color. So that's always fun. All right. Let's move on to using them on vellum. Okay, I'm trying to leave this here because let's see if that works a little bit better. All right, the pearls look amazing on the vellum. So you're going to put a little bit of the pearls. And again, you need the alcohol blending solution for the pearls. And you can see that I'm not directly putting the heat tool over on top of it, almost to the side of where I want the alcohol ink to move. That way it moves it where I want to a little bit easier. So then you have a really pretty, I don't, you can die cut this, you can do all sorts of different things with this. So much fun. Okay, see, okay, thanks. What are the pearls? Same but with pearlescence in them. Let me see. Yes, yes, it has, um, it, like the name, it's, it ha it's like a pearly effect. So I did use some mixatives. Um, which are, you can use gold, silver, um, different, uh, more like metal, uh, metallic looks. And these will mix right in with your alcohol inks. 
And then if you use, or no, I'm sorry, this was the, this was the alloy. So the alloy will sit right on top. It's not going to mix. Okay. It will a little bit, but not as much as the mixative. The mixative mixes and blends right in with your alcohol inks that you want to use. So depending on the look that you want, if you like shimmer, I don't typically use a lot of these products uh, just because I don't really like glittery things. <laughs> um, but if you want that type of look, then you could definitely choose which ones are right for you. So this is the pearl mixative and the alloys. And all of the all of the supplies I'm using are linked in the description. Yes, I'm hoping that I'm explaining it well enough uh, so you guys can get a better understanding. All right, the only one that I haven't really got the hang of and I'm going to show you, I don't know, I'm probably doing it wrong, but I haven't really got the hang of the white snow cap mixative, but I like to use this one when I want to add white splatters to my alcohol inked backgrounds. So I'm going to show you, I'm going to use a little bit of black. This is pitch black. I'm sure it's, I shook these up beforehand, but I want to make sure that they are nice and shook up. Then a little bit of the mixative on top. Then we're gonna go in, oh, I messed up. I wanted the uh, alcohol blending solution. There we go. It does, I don't know, it, it mixes, but I'm not sure I'm sold on the white mixative just yet. So, see how it just stays really white right there? I don't know. Not I'm not too sold on that just yet. All right. We're going to use some of the mixatives, let's see, let me see this one gold. The mixative on the vellum. Yes, I'm finding that I need to um I'm needing to have a lot more um practice with the, the snow cap mixative. Uh, Chantel asks, are you aware of the recommended safety precautions to protect your lungs and eyes? Yes, I am. And I should have gone over them. I had gone over them last in my last alcohol ink live. So I totally spaced it, but you definitely want to make sure you are in a ventilated area. You can use gloves uh, if you don't want to to get the alcohol ink on your hands. And if you want to, you can also wear a mask. So thank you for that, Chantel. And you never want to spray alcohol blending solution uh, because there is resin in it. You don't want the resin in your lungs. Right. Thank you for the reminder, Chantel. Appreciate it. I'm going to use a little bit of blending solution. So now I'm using the gold mixative on some vellum. I need a little bit more of that. There we go. I don't know why my camera always seems very washed out, but here is the alcohol ink and the mixative on vellum. 
Very, very pretty. Love that. All right, now we're going to try the, uh, the alloy. Sorry, there's so many different names I forget. All right, we're going to use the gold again. All right, and while I'm doing this, if you are just coming in, I had announced that there will be an, an, an announcement on July 1st. So if you want to be um, the one of the first people to know or you don't want to miss out on the announcement, I have a link to sign up for the announcement email in the description. So just to let you guys know, it's something super exciting. You are not going to want to miss it. All right. I am going to take this purple, which is boysenberry. Sorry, I haven't been saying the names. Boysenberry. One more drop. There we go. And this statue alloy. And a little bit of the alloy goes a long way. I'm going to add two drops just because. All right. Hello, Amanda. All right, and again, I am doing the heat tool on the side of the alcohol ink that I want to move around. I'm not putting the heat tool right on top. So here is the alloys. Again, these sit right on top. This is so beautiful. Can you imagine this on a card or like a full background? So, so pretty. I wish my camera would just, I don't know what's up with it. I paid a lot of money for it. You would think that it would work really well, but it doesn't. So I'm working with what I got. <laughs> Hopefully I'm giving you guys some good information. All right. Now let's do a little bit, let's do a, a big background. So again, this is the craft plastic. Yes, it's a boysenberry. My gold alloy always seems to separate and look brown. So the alloys will, it's it separates and it sits on top. Uh, if you want it to mix in, let me just do one more. So if you want it to mix in, you're going to need a gold mixative. So we'll do boysenberry again. And I did a lot of playing with them last night because I really wanted to make sure that I understood what they, how they worked. Although I was tempted just to, you know, go blindly on live, but I thought I wouldn't do anybody any any good if I didn't know what I was talking about. Although, of course, I'm not an expert, but I um, am just explaining how I feel that they work, and um, hopefully it's a good explanation. All right, so I added boysenberry and the gold mixative, and this is really going to just mix in and blend in with that alcohol ink, whatever color you use. It almost makes its own pearly color. Um, so you have the purple with the gold pearl. That's, I guess, the best way I can explain it. As the alloys sit on top and look more like gilding flakes. That's, that's the best I can explain it, I think. All right, so here is that. Oop. Here we go. There we go. So you could see how this mixes in and then this just sits on top. Is that explaining it well or am I not understanding because mine doesn't do the same? <laughs> Maybe. Um, I wonder, let's test something because I wonder if it has something to do with 
using the isopropyl alcohol versus blending solution maybe? I don't know. Let's try it. All right, so I have a little bit of boysenberry. Oh wait, you said the apple, I guess. So add a couple drops there, one drop there. So this one's going to be blending solution. This one's going to be isopropyl alcohol. I do actually personally like how it works with the isopropyl alcohol a little bit more. It seemed to spread out a little bit more. Oh, there we go. You can see the difference there. Still both very, very pretty. Oh, actually, I did add two drops to this one. That is probably what it is. But yeah. I'm not seeing it turning brown, but it does, again, sit on top, so. All right, let's make, well, this one's all dirty, so I'm going to use a smaller piece, but make a bigger background that I can create a card with. So I really like this boysenberry. And let's get another color here. That's what I did last night, Amanda. I just sat and played. Um, what percent? I believe, oh, it's right here. It is 91% isopropyl alcohol. Okay. If you're looking for techniques, um, different tips and things, I have a, I will have a link in the description. I do have a link in the description, I'm sorry for the last live stream where I shared different techniques using saran wrap and different things like that. Um, it was a lot of fun. So let's do wild plum and boysenberry. Okay, so I'm going to add a little bit of the blending solution. All right, what do you think? We should use a mixative or a alloy. What do you guys think? All right, we're going to use, let's use an alloy, which this one's slate. Yes, it's very rare when you can find some. I grabbed some. Um, I wasn't able to use my alcohol inks for a long time because I didn't have any isopropyl alcohol and I am cheap and I don't like to buy the blending solution because it goes too fast. All right, so I'm gonna add the alloy. Let's do a drop here and a drop there. Add a little bit more. I need a little bit more here. Yes, this is the alloy. Why? Okay, come on. This is so pretty. Love, love, love this. I wish the color on my camera was better. So pretty. 
All right, now I'm going to take some of the mixative and add a few little splatters. Okay, good. I thought my computer wanted to update or something. It froze when I was going to go live earlier, so that's why I was a little bit late. All right, just take some, put it on my glass mat, which is a good um, thing to have. It doesn't have to be this particular one, but some sort of non-porous surface to work on with your alcohol inks. And I'm just going to add splatters right on top. Probably going to be hard to see, but I will post pictures on Instagram and I will have a freebie, um, like a PDF or something, a downloadable that you guys can use as reference to know what does what and um, so that you can have a visible, uh, what am I trying to say, a, a visual um, when you are taking out your alcohol inks and either your alloys, mixatives, pearls, that sort of thing. So you can see quickly, do I want to use this one or what does this one do? So there's that. Going to use two of my favorite colors. And then this will be the last one for today. Um, these two colors, Moss and Monsoon, you guys, so pretty together. I cannot get enough of these two colors together. All right, I'm gonna use moss, a little bit more, and monsoon. And we'll do uh, foundry. Let's see if there's a silver. I think this is the silver. All right, add one there and one here. And let's try isopropyl alcohol this time. I'm gonna add some all over, just douse it with it. I like to have more of a flowy, wispy look to um, my alcohol inked backgrounds. So that's why I add so much alcohol or isopropyl alcohol or blending solution. And we are just going to move this around. And if I look at a alcohol inked background and I like about 80 or 90% of it, I won't touch it because chances are if I add any, like this little area, I wish it wasn't so con concentrated, but if I add any more uh, blending solution or alcohol or isopropyl alcohol to it, I, I always mess it up. So if I like the overall look of it, I'll leave it alone. I won't go back and do any more because I will end up messing it up. So yeah, let me move this up so you guys can see how pretty that is. Love these two colors together. And if you are not aware, Ranger released a select um, few colors of the alcohol ink in two ounce bottles instead of the half ounce bottles, which is very nice for those colors that you love so you're not skimping like I do. <laughs> Um, using them. All right, so that's that. All right, I think that's it. I hope that I gave you some good information. If you want to learn more techniques and tips, there is a uh, link for the last live stream that I did, and I will have it linked at the end of this video right here somewhere on the screen for you. And I want to thank you guys for stopping by. And if you have any questions, if you're watching the replay, if you have any questions, don't hesitate to ask in the comments. Uh, and I think that's it. I want to thank you guys again, and I will catch you later. Bye.